Um, welcome to Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Thursday, the 16th of March, 2023. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, it was a bit of a volatile session in the US. Those stocks paired their early losses. The NDX was the only major index to close in positive territory again. Finance stocks under significant pressure with Credit Suisse in the Eurozone uh, had news that raised fears of further bank failures. Their Saudi backers are essentially saying, no, we can't support you if you fall into trouble. That upset the market significantly when that news came out and it took some time to recover from that. And there still is massive caution around that banking sector for right now. US futures are above neutral in early Asian trading, however. Um, the Nasdaq is doing particularly well. Adobe, which trades on the Nasdaq, had an earnings release after hours. Uh, up around 5% and that has helped the index, which is around about 0.6% to the upside on the futures contract. Asian indices are generally weak following that cautious US lead. ASX is down 1.5% as this significant concern remains. European equity futures are also pointing to a cautious open and the VIX spiked higher testing October highs intraday before pulling back a little bit, but it's still high compared to what it's been over recent weeks. We saw some buying coming back into the US dollar and the USD index bounced off monthly lows and sits around the 200 EMA after a little spike to the upside. Fell in neutral in Asia in early trading and we are seeing some yen strength as well. And gold also traded higher, just substantiating this idea of a flight to safety despite the US strength and is over 1900. Copper, however, did breach that key $4 level and is testing year to date lows and oil continued to drop off as it has done over the last few days and is now 80 month lows not seen since november 2021 bitcoin's very choppy and sits just below that 25k resistance but no signs of significant selling yet and on the data front we saw the kiwi gdp miss expectations got consumer inflation expectations and jobs out of australia and of course tonight in the us we've got as always, the Thursday weekly jobs number and some housing data as well. But the focus will continue to be on the banking sector, we would suggest. A couple of charts have caught our eye today. Uh, we'll start with gold and you can see here that we had this double bottom formation technically on the daily chart, which pushed us higher and up towards this 1900 level. Another positive session yesterday, but we seem to have stopped around about this 1945. It was just underneath that as its high of the session. And you can see perhaps a little profit taking going on in Asia, but still comfortably over 1915. Much will depend on whether the banking sector gets some relief and of course what happens to the USD over the coming days. But whichever way you slice it, this is still looking very bullish and looking as though it may test those highs last seen in January. On the currency markets, we're interested in the Aussie yen. We did say there was some significant yen strength. You can see the extent of that yesterday. Uh, this was around about where the Credit Suisse news came out. Breached this pivot level. Now we're looking like a double bottom. So we'll keep an eye on 88.61 here. It's already had one stab at it and pulled back in the last 30 minute bar. But just well worth keeping an eye on in the next couple of hours or so. Part of this little drop off might be that we got slightly lower than expected consumer inflation expectations come across jobs are not too bad though so the aussie dollar is still making its mind up about which way to go on the back of that data trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now